Lyra's my father. Your wish is my command. Grant, this is crazy. I'm going to have Jake following me around all night long. You promised me he wouldn't bother you. Tonight was supposed to be for us. No tension, no bad memories, and no Jake. She's wearing my dress. Why that? I'm gonna rip that dress off her and strangle her with it. Three mineral waters, please. Oh, have champagne. Don't hold back on my account. No, that's okay, really. Uh, Sam didn't drink when I was pregnant either. Uh, uh, Liz, can I get you something to drink? <laughs> no, thank you. I, I wanted to talk to Olivia just for a moment. Now? Right Liz? now. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, accumulation, are you going to put them through? It wasn't my idea to come as a trio. This child isn't even Sam's. Don't do this here, Aunt Liz, not now. My conscience can't take more of this. Well, when did you grow one of those? Olivia. I'm going to pretend you never said that. If you say anything to Sam, I will leave Bay City. I won't have a choice. Tell me who the father is. Why? Because maybe you're wrong. Because you might stand a chance for a future with him. I don't want a future with him. Oh, be sensible, darling. Please, nothing is worse than this charade. <laughs> no, Matthew. Have you talked to Matthew about the baby? No, why would I? Well, because you were so close. Would you please just drop this now? Why? Is he the father? Oh, for crying out loud. Because if he is, I know he'll do the honorable thing. May I see your invitation, sir? I didn't expect it. I even RSVP'd. Excuse I'm me. I'm afraid you can't go in there. Hey, don't do this. Please, leave quietly or I'll call security. I've got to go in there. My whole future depends on what happens tonight. Now back off. Matthew is a wonderful catch, but he is not the father. You don't have to protect him, Olivia. And I'll handle Rachel if that's what it you're worried isn't about. Matthew, okay? Now stop scoping out every man in this place and trying to find me the most eligible bachelor. Goodbye. Darling, oh, calm down. The dress looks totally different on you, and a damn sight better, I might add. Please, would you help me pin it up or something? It's not the end of the world. <laughs> I just can't get away from you, can I? You planned this, didn't you? Oh, you think I want to look like you? <laughs> you are delusional. Face it, Pauline, you just don't have the self-confidence to pick out your own dress. You know, I don't know how that dress stays up on you. You have nothing to hold it for. <laughs> well, you know, you. I don't know how those stay up on you. Also, you needn't put on airs any longer. I went to Lasseter. I saw exactly where you grew up. It's no better than Gold Street. Gold Street? Oh, that's where you learned how to expose yourself. Pauline, to cover up your chest, it's gross. Jealous, Vicky? <laughs> Hardly. Mother, give her something to cover herself up with oh, before please. she give embarrasses her something something dagger in her mouth. Oh, 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 Ladies, ladies, hush! She's no lady. Oh, please, oh, Girl, don't she tell me either. Stop are you? It. it would appear. Could you just excuse us one minute, please? We'll let you know when we're finished. I'm terribly sorry. Get away from me! Excuse me! Stop it! Uh, the Cory limousine is waiting downstairs. It would save a lot of embarrassment if you would just go home and change your gown into something that fits you and that's more appropriate. I will not change, and I will not leave. Uh, you want to go through this whole evening looking like the Bobsy twins? If it bothers you so much, Vicky, why don't you leave? Nobody tells me to leave. Then I guess we're yeah. both staying. Well, I hate you! you I hate you too, you little witch! Stop it! You're trash! Oh, I'll show you trash, lady. Victoria, say, we both face the crowd, and may the best woman win. Ugh. Ugh. I think I prefer the roof. Uh, smile. Wait! Oh Be careful. I've seen this before. I think it's a trap Stop door. It. Nope. All right. 
Where's Jamie now? Oh, good, then we'll start. Rick. What? Nothing. I'll be right back. Luke? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this special evening, and thank you for donating to the Mackenzie Corey Fund. This year, the funds will be used for cardiac research. Thank you for your generosity, and have a wonderful evening. And now, my daughter Paulina and our distinguished guest, the Senator Grant Harrison, will begin the dancing. Oh, she's a wonderful dancer. <laughs> you could be teaching me to dance. Uh-oh. Lorna, the spider woman, has just arrived. What's she doing here? Matthew didn't invite her. Wait a minute, Rachel. Let me do this. It would give me great pleasure. Sure? Yeah. Lorna. Lorna. Later. Lorna. Just what is it with you and schoolgirls, Matthew? What game are you playing with me, Matt? First of all, this is not the place for this. What, am I supposed to be jealous Would of you Stop her? it! Stop it! Anne is my date. Yeah, sure, you're not her babysitter. Anna. Anna? You Amanda. are way out of line. Do you know that? Yeah, well, now we're even, Matt. You should know better. You're the, you're the one who didn't want to come to this ball in the first place. Do you remember that? So what? You go look for a kid? That kid is living with my family. She didn't even want to come to this dance, but I convinced her that she was going to have a good time. Well, you fixed that, didn't you? I can handle this. Matthew! Mom, please, let it go. You can't tell Matt who to see, okay? That Lorna person could certainly use a leash. I'm afraid of what you would do with it. Mom, please. Is Dennis here? I haven't seen him. Oh, he bought a ticket, but I haven't seen him either. Well, yes, he just flew back from the islands this afternoon. He went on that business trip with Marley. You didn't know? No, I didn't know. Oh, friend. I'm the old friend. You? Yes, me. Lorna, 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 you're not leaving yet, Why? right? Why? You're going to make another public display of ourselves? What Listen, humiliation? You deserved everything you got out there. I mean, why do you do these things? Can you tell me? You know, Hannah really admired you. Yeah, well, that's over. She's so Listen, angry about it. I don't know. I don't know. Right. You gonna give us a chance? You gonna give me a chance? Let's go find Hannah, okay? Hi. Can you just give me a few minutes to pull myself together? Okay. And then I want to do it by myself. I won't say a thing. I was just watching you and remembering myself when I was pregnant with Allie. Remembering all the whispering behind my back. I don't know how you can be so nice to me. Frankly, it isn't that easy. But I decided that if Sam and I are going to help you, we all have to grow up a lot. Amanda, I... We still have a dance to finish. Go ahead, I need some air. Have you had enough of this? I certainly have. I can't leave yet, Aunt Liz, not until I tell Sam the truth. What? You were right.
So are you ready to have... You ready to have Paulina drawn and quartered? I hope so. That little witch showed up here in my dress. Of course, she did look hideous in it, but that's really beside the point. Vicky, I'm dropping the suit. What? Why? Well, for a lot of reasons. After everything she's done to you, Marley, come on, you're just being nice now. I want you to stop it right now. I just can't get over something Jake said to me. Jake? Don't listen to him. I'll explain everything to you later. I just wanted to let you know. <sighs> Where is he? The dress is much nicer on the Corey girl. The fee I quoted you was for the entire evening. Little menage a trois leaving already? Let's take this out of here. I hate to disappoint you, Victoria, but I've had a lovely evening. Whatever turns you on, I guess. Fine. But let me ask you something now. <clears throat> when you're finished with Grant, then does he run around and work the video camera while you have a go at it with Jake? Kinky. Too bad Jake didn't get that for posterity. Satisfied? What, that you behaved with your usual class? What's new? Don't push me, Vicky. Although this is a ballroom, Paulina. It's not an alley. But I suppose once an alley cat, always an alley cat. Well, I think that about wraps it up, Suval. See, I'm paying you plenty. I expect my money's worth. I would like to thank you all for coming here tonight. I would also like to thank you for your generous support. This will be the last dance of the evening. Please, enjoy. Well, you heard what she said. No, I don't want to. I thought we made up, Iris. I like to leave before the last dance. When you're not with me, that is. I mean it, Spencer. Could we please go? We could. Let's not. This time. All right. Come on. Wait a minute. I don't mean to bother you. I just want to ask you to dance. You dropped this. Do you remember when I told you about the last dance I had with Daddy? Well, that was at the Snowflake Ball. It was the winter before he died, and it was the best night of my life. The best so far, I hope. Well, funnily enough, it started a little bit like this one. It was a total disaster. I felt misunderstood and very much alone. And your father changed that? Oh, yes. He seemed to appear out of nowhere. He had, oh, he's had such presence. He opened his arms to me without saying a word, and we waltzed, and we waltzed. And at that moment when we were dancing, I realized that I finally had what I wanted, complete acceptance and almost approval. Acceptance? And approval. What about love? Oh, yes, that was there, shining right at me. I finally realized I'd had it all along. So Daddy and I were very close for a while. I see. And then he died, suddenly. I know that kind of loss, Iris. Oh, no, Spencer, I'd already lost him long before that. And what happened? Well, the closer we became, the more I realized that I had to tell him the truth. I owed it to him. And when he found out that I betrayed him... You mean when you tried to take his company away from him? Yes, but it wasn't a success, thank heavens. But I knew I had to tell him absolutely everything, and... He was so furious and so... so disillusioned with me. And he never forgave you? Never. Things were never the same as they were when we had that last dance. Because... 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 Because he died. And that's why I... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't. 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 I
contents. It's time to retire those ghosts. I can't. You can and you have to. Because I accept you too. And I approve of you. And I love yours. You what? You heard me. I love you, sweetheart. I'll always love you. Eddie. Spencer. I love you too. I think Paulina deserves a toast. I agree, Amanda. It was an extraordinary evening. Yes, it certainly was. To Paulina and her great success at her first Cory Ball. <laughs> well, thank you for trusting me with it. I hope you'll always be a, as proud of me as I am to be a part of this family. Well, well good, night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night, Dad. You ready? Olivia's well, waiting up front. Sure. Jamie, uh, do you want to come over for a drink? Sure. I have a feeling I'm not going to be getting too much sleep tonight. <laughs> You want to make sure that you don't get any spots on your record, hmm? No problem. I'll go get the car. Mm. All right, then why don't you go get the car and I'll be out in a minute. All right. You will never speak to me that way again, do you understand? I understand that you're a complete fraud, and I don't care what percentage of your blood is Cory Blue. You're pure street, and you always will be. Well, it takes one to know one, doesn't it, Well, Bethy? let's just say I cleaned up a little bit better than you. <laughs> so, uh, you still think you're going to be able to keep Grant, huh? I don't have to. He stays by himself. By the way, you are so jealous you can't even <laughs> see straight. <laughs> you think I'm jealous of you? That's right. <laughs> Because while you may have access to the senator's files, I have access to his bed. And you don't think I couldn't just crawl right in there and toss you out? <laughs> you think that's funny, huh? Very. Well, let me tell you something. While you were in Lassiter with Jake, Grant managed to kiss me. And I don't think he found it funny at all. In fact, I think he enjoyed it quite a bit. Touch him. Well, no, actually, it had nothing to do with sentiment or gratitude or family. Feelings. Oh, I can just imagine how it was. Like that night at the end when you practically stripped and tackled him. None of this bothers you? Hey, you know, the guy is only flesh and blood. I'm sure you snuggled and wiggled and tossed your rather limited equipment at him till you drove him to it. You know, you really love playing with fire, don't you, Vicky? One would have thought you would have learned by now because you've been burned so many times. I mean, look at Jamie, look at Jake, look at all your exes. When does Ryan get his, Vicky? Let me tell you something. This, this high and mighty stuff that you try to do, it just, it just doesn't cut it. But I guess you can take the girl out of Gold Street. Oh, can it, just, Vicky? You said you it all before. Like you are real hot stuff tonight. But let me tell you something. It's a good thing Jake had a video camera here tonight. You want to know why? Because soon all you're going to have of this life are memories of yourself on videotape. My family could have dumped me when they learned the truth about me and Jake, but they didn't, Vicky. They stood by me and so did Grant. Well, that remains to be seen. <sighs> Why are you so desperate to do us in? Is it because all your relationships have blown up in your face? At least I've had relationships. No, they were pathetic, Vicky, just like you. <sighs> you know, no one should be surprised. 
I watched Donna walking around and drifting in and out of this party like a ship without a rudder. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. At least I had a mother. You bitch. Sweet. You're demented! I'm not the one who got blackmailed into matrimony. Well, I'm not the one who didn't know which lover father her own kid. So, of course, she married the rich one. You stupid trash! <sighs> Easy, Paulina. I mean, we wouldn't want anyone to know what a temper you have. Ooh. I mean... You wouldn't mind doing anything that might get you arrested. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> you did that on purpose! Damn what I did! Get <laughs> <laughs> you, you bitch! Know why Marley dropped the suit against you? If it were me, I would follow you until they locked you up for good. She what? <laughs> you didn't even know about it. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be. Ex-husband talked her out of it. Jake. Yeah, Jake. Or maybe he conned her. Or maybe he threatened her again. Oh, that's right. Go, Missy. Go run. Go thank Jake in the way only you know how. I mean, after all, why should Grant know he shares the goods? <laughs> shut up, Biggie! Just oh my shut God, up! I just admit it. I don't know why you mess around with Grant anyway. I mean, Jake's the one you really want. You're sick! Oh, just wait for it. Give into it. You guys make a perfect couple in my mind. It's the king and queen of sleaze in Bay City. <laughs> That's it, Biggie. That is <laughs> it. Oh! <laughs> 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 What the hell are you doing? Grant, let her go to Jake. Ryan, obviously your contribution is not helping at all. Fine. All right, hey, all Marley, right. Hike up the skirt a little what? bit, will you? Hike up the skirt. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, here comes the truck. Here comes the truck. Ah, you who? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I've looked everywhere, Pauline is gone. What the hell was going on here? She wants me out of your life, Grant. Is that what you want? You know better. What else can I say? Anything else would be inappropriate. Vicky, what? What? What the hell happened here? You got into what with Paulina again, didn't you? Uh, it was an accident. <laughs>